Hey, how are you? It's Adam Bellow, and I'd like to talk a little bit about Twitter today. Uh, some people came to my ISTE sessions were wondering how I was able to live tweet my own presentation, and I'm going to now tell you how it's done. I do need to pay credit to the person who invented this technique way back when, and it was Alan Levine, and uh, he did the first Twitter uh, keynote tweet system. There was a script that made it work, then Twitter changed some stuff, so it wasn't working so great, but I was able to uh, sort out some instructions on the internet, and come up with a way to make it work again. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is go into the terminal app. So you can just start typing in terminal in your spotlight button. You can load up terminal. And when you get to your first page over here, your first screen, I'm going to type in sudo gem itwirl source http ruby gems.org. Now all I did over there was paste that. I'm going to put all the notes of course in the uh, in the show notes as well. Typing in my password for my system and in a few moments it's going to actually start loading some files over here. All the things you'll need to type in are going to be included in the notes. I put in my password for my system and you'll notice that it successfully installed all this stuff. So here's how we're going to create an application. It's really, really simple. You're not really doing any heavy coding. It's just very easy to fill out. I'm going to go over here and name this Keynote Tweet for Edge Clipper. You can name it whatever you'd like. I'm describing it the same way. I've put in a website, you need to have the HTTP colon slash slash, otherwise it won't work. And then I'm going down over here to agree to their terms and go to create my application. Now, I've created the application, everything looks pretty good. You'll notice over here some of the information that we're gonna need later, consumer IDs and consumer secrets. But we're gonna go over here to settings and this is very important. I'm going to change this from an uh, application type where it says read only to read and write and then we're going to update this Twitter application settings back on the details page and we want to copy this information we want to get the consumer secret and the consumer key I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to open up a new sticky note that information now here's where it gets interesting in the show notes you will see that there is actually a code that you need to put in and it's over here It is twirl, authorize, and then it says consumer key. Where it says the key, that's where you're going to put the actual key that you got from over here. So I'm going to copy that key. I'm going to put it in where it says the key. And then it says consumer key, the secret. I'm going to take away the secret, and I'm going to put in the secret key. And just paste. Now I take this whole command, and I go to copy. And I'm going to go back over to my terminal over here. And I'm going to paste and hit enter. So now, very, very simple to do. You'll notice over here that this is going to give you a web address in your terminal window. So all you have to do is go over here. It says go to. You're going to copy where it says HTTP API all the way down to where it says zero and paste it into supplied pin. So I'm going to copy that in. I'm going to go over here to a new window, hit enter, and it's going to give me the chance over here to authorize this app. I'm going to authorize it. This is the pin. So I take that and I copy those numbers. And I go back to my terminal window. And I just paste in the pin and I hit enter. And now it is successful. So we have now done the tough part. We've done the terminal piece where we set up the um, we set up the computer to get ready to tweet on our behalf. Basically what we've just done is made a handshake between Twitter, you know, our personal account on Twitter, and the, um, and the computer so it'll tweet for you. But now we have to get a little piece of software, and the piece of software is very simple. It is called Keynote Tweet. You can get it from the link again in the show, in the uh, video description. So this is Keynote Tweet. All you have to do over here is go where it says Download Keynote Tweet, It'll download it. When you install it, I like to keep it into my uh, into my dock. When you click on it, the first time it's going to say, would you like to add any text? Examples of hashtags or usernames. So for example, when I was at ISTE 12, I put in ISTE 12 and I would add that text. And then it says I would tweet anything between the hashtags or between the brackets Twitter and slash Twitter. So I'm going to go to begin and I'll show you how to set this up. So in Keynote, if I go to open up a new slide, and 
and let's say I go over here and I want to say tweak this. What I'm going to do is go over to view and go over to show notes. And in brackets, I type in Twitter. Fast123 keynote tweak bracket Twitter. Now notice the one thing you'll have to know is that there has to be a space in between the brackets and the text. And that should be it. When I go over here to play, uh, let's go to Keynote Tweet first. Let's set it up. I'm going to give it the hashtag SD12. Add that text. Now it's going to tell you that everything in between the brackets will be tweeted. I go to begin. I go to play. And if I go to Twitter, test123, Keynote Tweet SD12. And there it is. That is how you do tweeting from Keynote. Again, I'll put descriptions in the, in the uh, notes for this video, so it'll have all the instructions, but that's kind of simply a walkthrough of how to do it. It takes a few minutes to set up, but once you do it, it'll work as many times as you want. Make sure you quit terminal, because if you're going to be practicing your slideshow, you don't want to keep on tweeting all the things you have it set up for. All right, enjoy.